All right, welcome to part five in our last video in this series. And guys, you know a lot of this stuff is opinion. Sure it is, but a lot of it, I mean, it's based on the facts of the business that rarely do we really talk about. And to kind of end this up, of course, we could probably do, you know, a, a 50 part series on this stuff, but to try to keep it, you know, just on the main point, let's just talk about appraisal fees and disclosures. You know, I'm all about things where I feel like appraisers get taken of advantage of. Now, in any other business, let's take, for instance, the real estate business. If they get paid, it better be disclosed. You know, if it's a nickel you get from somebody, you better let somebody know it. You know, every other industry has to disclose what they get paid. So I'm always amazed how the appraisal industry, you know, when somebody gets their closing statement at a, when they're buying a house, they see appraisal fee. Nowhere on there does it say, you know, fee for appraisal management company. If you talk to a lot of people, they're not even sure what appraisal management companies are. They don't know what they do. And, you know, in all fairness, if we go back, appraisal management companies were created with the stroke of a government pen. Appraisers really got punished for the sins of big banking. You know, and sure, that's some opinion, but there's a lot of fact in that, guys. And we basically were mandated to bring these management companies in and to give them part of our money. We didn't do anything wrong, but we were mandated to give part of our money to appraisal management companies. If you ask most appraisers, you know, there's a few good appraisal management companies but for the most part, appraisal management companies, if they went away tomorrow, the business would still go on just as it was. We functioned before, you know, before we got into, you know, zero liar loans and whatever, the appraisal industry functioned just fine without appraisal management companies. And I believe they can do it again. And one thing, one of my other pet peeves is people talk about technology and appraisal management companies. Now, you know, I've talked about LIDAR a bunch before and LIDAR, while I didn't like it when it first came out, you know, I've learned over time that LIDAR or some technology like that is gonna be the way of the future when it comes to measuring houses. You get a floor plan and a GLA sketch you know, and there's some variation in that and it doesn't work all the time, but it's still for probably a large percentage of American homes can be measured with this technology. So I say put it in the hands of appraisers and let them control it because somebody still has to decide what is finished living area and what is not. However, some of these appraisal management companies want to control that technology and then they are gonna charge a fee for allowing the appraiser to use their technology, which the appraiser could get for free. You know, to me, there's something wrong with that picture, you know, and I'm not, you know, appraisal management companies have a right to make a living and I'm all for them, you know, as it stands anyway, you know, to make a living. But they are charging things off the backs of appraisers and, you know, for instance, that LIDAR technology, that's one of those things that's really not fair. If they want to let appraisers use it, that's great. If they have one program they like, that's fine. But don't charge appraisers for something they can get for free for themselves. And the appraisers need to be the one in control of it in the first place. All right, back to fees. If we want consumers to understand, and if we want this industry to be fair, the fees of an appraisal assignment must be disclosed on that closing statement. If the appraisal management company charges, you know, $300 and the appraiser gets $400, that ought to be mandated to be on a closing statement. There's no way, there's no argument that you can make to convince me that that shouldn't be disclosed. If it's my money 
and I'm paying for something as a consumer, I want to know where it goes. You know, if I think the appraiser's making a thousand dollars, well, you know, that influences my opinion about appraisers. Now, if I thought the appraiser was making 500 and the appraisal management company was making 500, that would change my whole opinion about the process. And the thing is where these appraisal management companies, they will shotgun out these emails and they're looking for who will do it the cheapest and who will do it the fastest. After all the talk we heard about quality, explain adjustments to people that don't understand adjustments, all this, you know, push, push, push of quality, and then they want the cheapest and the fastest. Well, guess what? You don't get the best quality with the cheapest and the fastest. It's a fact of life. Every other industry requires whatever is paid by the public that it be disclosed in writing and on a closing statement, consumers deserve to know how much they're paying for an appraisal and how much they're paying for an appraisal management company. And you know, then we can decide, do we really need appraisal management companies to guide licensed and certified appraisers? That's perhaps another discussion, but it's time for all fees to be disclosed to the American consumer. Thanks for watching this video series. I hope you learned something new and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.